guys, welcome. This is Bob, N9KR, and we've got a new project we wanted to talk about uh, today. We've been working on this for the past few days. Uh, it's an antenna analyzer, a homebrew antenna analyzer, basically a sweeper. It's good from, uh, it'll sweep from about 1 to 30 megahertz, all the HF amateur bands, and uh, it works in conjunction with a laptop PC. Now, uh, this design has been floating around for a while. It was developed by K6BEZ, Barrick Dunn, a couple of three years ago. Relatively straightforward. It uses a resistive bridge <coughs> and uh, an Arduino controller and uh, an AD9850 uh, DDS module to generate the signal, the sine wave. So with the cover off inside our new homebrew antenna analyzer, we have up in the corner here, the top left corner, right up here, that's our Arduino Nano. It's the Nano version of our Arduino. Here's one that hasn't been mounted yet. We mounted it upside down so we can easily get to, to these pins on both sides here. Okay, We actually have it just sitting on top of a little phenolic block that's glued down to give us some distance up off the chassis. Maybe see it like this. There. So that we can line up the back of it with this hole for the USB connector, which we need to connect to the laptop. Okay. Okay, down here we have our AD9850 DDS module right here. There's another one that hasn't been mounted yet. This is a different manufacturer, but it's basically the same module. Very popular. These used to be down to three or four dollars on eBay. I noticed they're back up to around ten, eleven dollars now, but that's still a bargain for what you get, I think. This is what's going to generate our signal from one to thirty megahertz that we're going to sweep with uh, being controlled by uh, the Arduino. Okay. So far, we've got the exact same setup that uh, that K six B Z uses. Okay, I took the output of my AD9850 and uh, found it necessary to feed it into a little monolithic amplifier here. Basically any type of broadband amp would work. Uh, this is a MAR6 MMIC. Um, I had a bunch in the junk box. We also had a little board that it's kind of built on here. The MAR6 itself is actually a very small component you can see at the tip of the pencil there. And there's not much to the circuit, it's just there's an input capacitor, the uh, MMIC, an output capacitor, and a little bias resistor. It's fed with uh, 5 volts DC, and there's a little filter capacitor here. And that's it, and we needed to boost the signal up by about 15 dB before we presented that signal to the uh, resistive bridge circuit, which is up here. We built the resistive uh, bridge circuit on a little scrap of uh, fiber glass covered with copper down here. We use this material quite a lot. Looks like this. Fiberglass copper, copper foil. And uh, we build it almost exactly to uh, K6BEZ's design spec with two significant differences. One is the germanium diodes that he used. Uh, I didn't have any of the exact equivalents in the junk box, so I used 1N34As. <clears throat> Several folks have commented that those are probably not optimum for this circuit, but I went ahead and used them anyway. And the other change is uh, the op amp that's used in the circuit uh, to boost the forward and reflected voltages that are measured uh, is an MCP6002. That's what uh, K6BEZ recommends. I used LM358 and LM358 because I had one in the junk box. It's a dual op amp package. And typically what I do when I build anything on these uh, on homebrew on ugly style on this uh, copper clad fiberglass is just take take usually start with the main IC in this case it's an 8 pin IC like that LM358 find which pin is the solder the ground pin and just go ahead and solder it down to the board like right here and once that's soldered to the board uh, you can build all the rest of the components around that solder directly to them and I found that that works real well now this is what K6BEC's uh, uh, design looks like. You can find this on the web. Just just Google that antenna analyzer K6BEZ. And uh, in mind, this is a kind of hacked up version. I made a lot of notes on here and kind of hacked it up some. But basically, your DDS module is over here, the AD9850. The section here is the uh, resistive uh, bridge circuit, and uh, the Arduino module is over here. In my case, I've also included this. MMIC amplifier just at the output of the 
AD9850 module. Okay. So we got our cover back on and we've got our outside antenna connected up there. We got our sensitivity set and we got our USB uh, connector uh, connected up to our laptop. So let's uh, change gears and take a look just at the software a little bit here. This is the sketch that K6BEZ wrote, the Arduino version of the sketch that's currently now uh, installed in, into our Arduino. <clears throat> and so uh, that's installed and in place. Now let's look at the other piece of software that's required. It's actually written in a development environment called Processing. Let me minimize this other one. Looks like this, and uh, that's also an open source project that's uh, free to download and install in your laptop. And the specific program that we are currently running uh, is called Sweep 3 Test. That was written by VK3YY and then enhanced by KN5UTE. It's a sweeper program that works well with the Arduino sketch and this project. And then uh, it was further enhanced by uh, VU2SPF. He, he did some more work on this software. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and fire up a couple of sweeps here and we'll see how it does. We've got our 20 meter ground mounted vertical connected up. So let's uh, pick COM7, which is specific to my laptop. 256 points, which is a relative indication of resolution on the graph. We'll pick full band, which is 1 to 30 megahertz, and hit the scan button. See what we got on our 20 meter antenna. Okay, there we go. Uh, the system's finding our lowest SWR as 1 as 1.24 at 13.8, uh, so we're just a little bit low in frequency for 20 meters. So we can go ahead and uh, zoom in on that a little bit closer here with the software. Let's look at uh, 10 to 20 megahertz on our spread here, and here we are right about right here. Okay. So that's 20 meters, so it uh, looks like that antenna is just a little bit long. We probably need to go out and shorten that vertical up just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and run a scheme with our 17 meter vertical connected up. Another ground mounted vertical. Should be resonant around 18 megahertz. And the system says 18.173 is our most resonant point with an SWR of 1.18, which is right here. So that's looking pretty good for 17 meters. Uh, so we can zoom in just a little bit on that, take a quick look if we uh, went to uh, 10 to 20 megahertz. And here's our 17 meter point right here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check our last antenna. Okay, we'll go back to uh, full band. Our last antenna is uh, a very inefficient 40 and 80 meter fan dipole. It's not very high up. Let's go ahead and run the scan under full band and we'll see what we got. Yep, there's our peaks down here. Here's 80 meters and here's our 40 meter peak. On high we have a lot of stuff going on out there and actually the system calculates our lowest SWR out at 27 megahertz. Let me zoom in on the band on this. We'll go down to uh, 1 to 10 megahertz and take a look. That'll be easier to see. Here's uh, 80 meters, 40 meters. We'll run the scan again here. And the system uh, should tell us uh, what the exact SWR is. Yeah, 1.42 at 3.6 megahertz, which is just the high end of the CW portion of uh, 80 meters. Okay, one more thing we want to check is we want to run this on a uh, 50 ohm load just to see how flat we are um, across the band. So we've got a 50 ohm dummy load on there, resistive load. Let's run the scan. And we should be pretty flat and a pretty low SWR on this. Yeah, 1.08 and we're flat across the entire HF spectrum. So I think uh, the system is working as it should. Well, this certainly has been a fun project. I like the way it turned out. It's going to be a real useful piece of gear for the shack here. It's certainly not a $400 uh, analyzer, but uh, for my budget, $25 or so that I've got in it, I think it's uh, going to be well worthwhile. Uh, it's been fun. I'd like to thank uh, specifically K6BEZ for all of his hard work in making this uh, product, this project available. Also the other folks, the other hams that we mentioned earlier in the video, I'd like to thank them as well. And uh, those guys all contributed in the spirit of uh, amateur radio to our community and I think that's pretty neat. So good luck. Anything you need you should be able to find by googling uh, one of those ham calls, maybe with the term uh, uh, antenna analyzer included there. and. Uh, Best of luck to all of you. Thanks for watching.